this video we're going to demonstrate how to replace the Human Touch Perfect Chair Supreme Upholstery Package Jade Heat Pad. The first thing we're going to do is detach the body pad from the headrest pad by pulling the top flap out from underneath the headrest. They're attached with hook and loop fasteners. With the top part of the pad tipped forward onto the seat, we'll use a flathead screwdriver to pop open the cover on the connector box and we will disconnect the black and yellow cables. And then we can remove the pad set from the chair. And this would have been easier if we had raised the footrest before we got started here. Next we'll place the pad face down on a table or the floor, open the zipper, and begin to pull the foam insert out of the pad. And we can fish the cable there out of the uh, hole in the pad set and remove the insert from the chair. Now we're ready to remove the jade heat pad. To do this, we're going to press down with one hand on one side of the hook and loop fastener while we pull up on the jade heat pad with the other. It's important that we hold that backing down um, so it doesn't detach from the pad set. And we can fish the cable then through the hole in the pad set and remove the pad. Okay, then we can place the new jade heat pad into position, aligning the hook and loop fasteners with the um, wide part of the pattern toward the top of the pad. And then fish that cable through the hole in the pad set. Now we're ready to reinstall the foam insert and note we will align it so that the um, little pink square that covers the battery compartments in the upper left as you're facing the back of the pad. And then we'll start in a corner and work our way around tucking the foam insert firmly into each of the corners. Okay, then we can thread the black cable through the hole in the pad set and take up all the slack. Then we can close the zipper And we're ready to reinstall the pad set onto the chair. This time we will raise the footrest and recline the chair a bit to make it easier. Okay, once the chair is in position, we can slide the um, body pad footrest part over the footrest frame, making sure those two posts on the footrest frame go in all the way into the corners of the body pad. And then with the backrest part of the body pad resting forward on the seat, we can reconnect the cabling. Okay, then we can snap that connector box cover on, tuck it up into the seat canvas. And then we're gonna lift up on the seat portion and pull it as tight as we can toward the backrest to take up any slack and push the backrest part into position. Uh, it will attach with hook and loop fasteners. And finally, we'll um, 
tuck that upper flap up into the headrest pad and push down firmly to attach it using the hook and loop fasteners. Okay, then we can return the chair to the upright position and fold in the footrest. And we're done.